guys and welcome to another vlog. This one's a bit different. Right now I am not at uni, I'm currently in Rome. No, you can't really tell from the backdrop, but uh, night one in Rome, officially got the goods. I fear this video is just going to be me eating pizza and progressively just getting chubbier, but you know, glimpse into my future. <laughs> Let me take you on a little apartment tour, MTV crib style. Boudoir over here kitchen facilities over here, living space here, I suppose. <laughs> That's it. Basically, the gist. Morning, it is day two in Rome. The plan for today is to look around the Vatican, I think, and just have a wander, see what Rome has to offer. So we just made it to Vatican City, see St. Peter's Basilia over there. All it does is remind me of the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons legit fave film Evs. We're just picking up a bit now, it's kind of sunny, it's kind of miserable still. I spoke way too soon about the good weather, it's absolutely chucking it down. I might as well be back home, I'm not going to lie. walked around for a bit, explored Rome. It's now 2pm. I'm just about to go in my boy Michelangelo's castle. Um, it's quite nice. It's about to see the wind. Oh, yeah, it's nice view. Oh, that little Eve flag. <sighs> Traumatic, bringing back those EU lectures. No thanks. Those of you who've been on my channel long enough, you'll know what this reminds me of. In my Paris video, I went on the top of some tower that I still can't pronounce, and the views were so similar to this, like, it's absolutely stunning. The sun's finally made an appearance. It's still windy, but you know, I can't have it all. The kid, the junior that is, will be down in a minute, unless you'd like to take her to the up the
So after an immense hunt to find food, settled for pizza yet again, obs. Literally in the grooviest pub though. There's like little like, things everywhere, little signs, little bits of England. Can't escape it clearly. Welcome to day three in Rome. The weather is absolutely dreadful today. I don't really know if you can see, but it's basically thrashing it down. Lovely. The plan for today is to go see the Colosseum, um, the Trevi Fountain, and then like the Spanish Steps and just have a bit of a wander, really. It's my last day in Rome. I just basically want to see as much as I can today. I'm sure the rain is going to put me off a bit, but you know, I've got a champ on. The struggle. You don't have a mirror, so you just got to do it into your face time. So, just leaving now in the lift. This lift is literally like a foot wide. Always makes me a bit worried. Let's go. So I finally made it to the Colosseum. Ta-da! It's a lot smaller than I actually thought it was. Like you can lap around it in a good couple of minutes. It's still kind of cool though. Oh, would you look at that? Constantine's Arch. Roman in Rome. Oh, Constantine till I die. Just left the Colosseum, currently heading to get something to eat and then nip back to the apartment before going to see the rest of Rome. So I'm watching the imitation game, the plot has been leading up to a pinnacle moment and just when we find out what actually has happened, the subtitles are in Italian. Guess what I found? Honestly, this is what I wanted to see the most. I've heard so many good things about it, so many good reviews, and everyone said it's beautiful, you can look at it for hours, and I must say, I do agree. Like, the water's so blue, and again, just like the architecture, it's very nice. It's so cold. I thought the water would be quite warm, but it's really cold. <sighs> Halfway. So after about 130 odd steps, we're finally here at the top of the Spanish Steps. Killer view on the way down. Oh, my thighs, my thighs have been aching. This trip has basically been cardio central. 
makes up the pizza though. Oh, very dark, very dark lighting. There we are, mildly better. Let me get that stage lighting going. Basically back now. Here we are. Oh, so basically, when I got in last night, I just went straight to sleep. Woke up now and it's like, half six in the morning and I've got to leave for the airport. I'm so tired. Oh, and then basically as soon as I get touched down in London, I've got to go all the way back to York to go to uni. Look, I even slept in my makeup. Oh my God, I just, what is my life? <laughs>